as we turn the page of the seasons. The days get longer. The sun is higher. Ice melts and snow recedes. We say goodbye to pristine frozen vistas and winter sports. We dig, chip, and shovel our way through the ice and snow. Looking forward to the season of flip-flops, berry picking, swimming holes, and veggie gardens. But first, we have to make it through mud season. Mud season is an annual spring occurrence for snowy, cold areas. With an average yearly snowfall of 70 inches, the frozen stuff piles up for six months and then melts over the course of a few weeks. Mud season is what happens when all the snow melts. The ground is still too frozen to absorb the runoff so the moisture saturates the top layer of all unpaved land. Flooding, puddles, ice jams, rutted roads, and mud bogs are all common. It's always more mud than you think is possible. It's totally normal to see vehicles stuck on the back roads. Completely normal. There's nothing to see here. You need a vehicle with ground clearance and preferably four wheel drive. It's important to know the limits of your vehicle. So you sink in, you're less likely to be able to get out, and you're more likely to bottom your vehicle. Snow tires will not help you in the mud. All of this mud adds a new dimension of filth and inconvenience to our daily lives. And so we endure the seasonal chores of snow removal, ice melting, and mud mitigation. This involves hauling and spreading sand, altering our drying routes, selecting practical footwear, and even avoiding some of our favorite hiking trails. When you live in a dirt road, like us, housekeeping is so futile. Sometimes I don't even bother. Spring is just not the most pleasant time of year for us. Okay, fine. We hate it. It offends my sense of cleanliness. But this year we've discovered that Elliot enjoys the mud. He happily stomps through puddles and throws rocks into the freshly melted brook. The bumpy car rides and squishy driveways suit his appreciation for adventure and chaos. We bide our time by tapping maple trees, starting seedlings, and planning future projects, knowing we are just a few short months away from summer. <laughs> We've had no visitors for over a year. And once we are all vaccinated, we know we will have many guests. But for the spring, it's okay that our friends and family can't visit. Good because most people wouldn't even make it up our road. And don't worry, the delay should give us plenty of time to clean up before you get here. <laughs>